mate Sav, and you're watching Simply Tech, where I look at the tech you use every day. For my everyday photography and video, I tend to use the camera on my mobile phone. For the most part, those images are okay when viewed on the phone, but on a PC, they lack clarity. So I wanted to purchase a standalone camera that I could shoot photo and video on. The one I chose is the Panasonic Lumix FZ80. Briefly, the camera comes with a 20 to 1200 mm lens, has 4K capable video, an 18 megapixel sensor that gives you 4896 by 3672 resolution, plenty of manual and auto settings, built in flash, and image stabilization for photos. and a rear LCD touchscreen to make any adjustments or view the file you've taken. I took the camera out for a road test shooting still images on the intelligent setting in bright, sunny conditions. The images are crisp with a good level of detail and colour reproduction. So I was happy with the camera so far. Next, I switched to the 4K MP4 30 frames per second video using the inbuilt microphone. Right from the start, the mic offers no noise reduction, and although the lens offers good zoom, the image shake is apparent. So if you're going to shoot video, you'll definitely need a tripod. The video is also a bit washed out, so post-image processing is a must. Next, I wanted to see if I could use video with some minor correction applied. For this, I imported the video into After Effects and applied some stabilization and increased the contrast by 10%. As you can see, by comparison, the image does look better. At the end of the day, would I recommend the camera? No doubt that someone who has intermediate or advanced skills could bring out the best in the picture, specifically the video. Overall, I'm happy with the camera, and it's definitely an improvement on shooting with a phone. And at a little over $340 Australian, it's definitely a bargain. I'm Sav, and you've been watching another episode of Simply Tech. If you like the video, hit like, and remember to subscribe for notifications on new content.